Hello YouTube, we made it to Colombia. We're on our way to our hosts to see some... Oh, to meet them, yeah, and have some dinner. Sorry, I'm really tired. We woke up really early, traveling, running across the airport to catch our flight. I am really tired and we changed the locations and now snap and we're in Colombia. We start all over again. is reminding me a lot of when we played in Finland one time uh, with UC and Paul. It was like a park right outside of the city. Yeah, can you see the city back the there? the whole city view is back there. So I really like the location, but I'm excited to like meet everyone and obviously see the rest of the course. All right, I'm gonna try to find a place so I can catch up on video. Oh, it's like really humid. My asthma is like, guys, I don't have it together right now. Okay, I'm tired. <laughs> But right now, Paul's about to film. So what they're gonna do is basically walk the course and the designers are just gonna talk about whole layouts and Jomez is filming, filming all of it, so that's really cool. But this is like the extra hard part for Paul. He would rather just have these conversations organically, uh, but because like we're on a trip and it's funded and we're a nonprofit and obviously you guys are all fans and you wanna know what's up, like we kinda have to make sure that everyone's mic, the cameras are rolling, and then that there's good angles. So it can be a little bit intimidating and it's a little bit less casual, especially for people who are new to like filming. Hopefully some good conversations will happen today. I'm gonna try to capture some footage, but everything will be up on Joma, so I don't wanna take their stuff. Are you having fun? Yeah, first hole I hit the gap. So. Wow. <laughs> you like to eat stuff? Good though. This is hole 10, we call it the mango hole. There's a, surrounded by small mango trees, but there's a window in the top that you can hide it right in. Okay, I know this is my vlog, but this guy just gave all these really cool gifts. Show them the top. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, lunch review. Pueyo Aranda. Is this supposed to be garlic? Did you try it? Uh, off my fork. Mm, wow. My Very favorite good. so far on this plate? This right here? It's not mac and cheese. It looks like it, but it's not. It's more like a, it's more like a cream sauce. Mac and cheese. It's, like a, it's almost like a creamy. Is it burger? Yeah, what is it? Uh, Tell me what it is. Oh, it's vodka like sauce. Vodka. So it's like, yeah. What is it called? It's like a vodka sauce. Can you review my food? Really intimidating and smelling. Scary. Oh, scary. There's big. We had some lunch. And now Kevin is filming Paul and Ken. It's pretty cool because they're gonna do a nine hole layout and they're lengthening them. So, just for a preview, I think this is about where the tea pad of 18 is gonna go. And the basket is all the way down there. Hello vlog. Oh wait. Hello vlog. <laughs> 4K. We finished up the clinics, which went really, really well. A lot of the people um, took over for us, so it was like um, Colombians teaching other Colombians, and I got to work with a girl and. It was really good. Um, thanks. Um, now we're going to dinner. I don't know what to 
expect as usual. I don't really know what's going on. I just get on the bus and it takes me somewhere and then I do the thing. How are you? Good. Good. What are you drinking? Went well. I don't have anything. Oh. I'm drinking an energy drink. And I know it's an energy drink because it says... Viva. Viva 100%. Bebida. Bebida, which means drink. And energizan energizante? Didn't that mean not live? Like life at hundred percent. Yeah. Vive is live. No, yeah. I said bebida. Yeah, what's about vida? Vida okay. is life. Well, vida oh, is, is, a is live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Live one hundred percent. Yeah, okay. Why is every guys this is my vlog. Everyone back off. Oh my gosh. Shane's living a hundred percent right now. That's all I do. <laughs> well, it's eight o'clock. We were supposed to be leaving, but of course the tennis courts are open. So our It's gonna be an intense game. Hi guys. Okay, I think this will work. I have to tell you about Columbia. So <laughs> I'm just gonna hold you. Uh, so basically I've got to tell you about Columbia because um, I stopped vlogging and I need to tell you why. Columbia and Guatemala were two very different trips. Um, in Guatemala, we were working with kids. In Colombia, we were working with adults. There wasn't like an issue there, but it was just cool to see the difference. In Guatemala, we were working with kids who were learning about the sport for the first time, like they'd never heard about it before. And in Colombia, it was a lot of teaching about like the pro side of the sport and just like about organized events and how to teach disc golf. And what ended up happening was at one of the clinics, um, we had shown all of the Colombians how to like throw the disc with forehand, backhand and putting. And then the next day we had like kids that we were teaching and the Colombians actually took over the clinics um, for the second round and then looked to Joey for like approval. Like, am I teaching this right? Am I doing this right? So the contrast there was super sick. I mean, I've never seen anything like that before and I wasn't expecting that. But actually like I had so many conversations with women about competing in the US, um, about coming to AM Worlds, what is the PDGA, what is a rating, like why are they important, etc. And it was just really, really, really cool to be able to share the sport, but also like to be able to share the professional side of the sport and the opportunity there was like really cool because we need that. The day before we left, uh, we had a nurse come to our Airbnb and give us all a COVID test because whether you were vaccinated or not, you needed a COVID test to leave the country and get back into the States. There's a pandemic, you get it. We were told that we would get our COVID tests back, like our results back within like a couple hours. And then we would be able to show, you know, when we checked in for our flight that we were negative, check in with the gate agent once we got it to the States, got into the States and then go from there. Well, um, one of the major hiccups was that we didn't get our results back. So we were going to be stranded in Colombia, not stranded, that's dramatic, but just like stuck in Colombia. Paul and I were the first ones from our group to fly out besides Raul. Raul actually left um, before everyone else because it was his birthday and he had some work to get back to. Um, and then it was Paul and I's turn to fly out at like 7.30 in the morning, which meant a really, really early like 4.15 wake up call. You want to get to the airport a couple hours early just in case anything happens. We don't speak Spanish fluently, so yeah. We did not get our results back until the morning of our flight. Apparently there was a miscommunication with information and we did have our test results done, but they weren't coming from the lab because there was like something happened. I think maybe like a spelling error with an email or a phone number or something, but we all ended up making it obviously, but I panicked. Um, I have like anxiety or at least I did in 2021 I think it was just a hard year for me I had a lot of like experiences felt really really unsure and I let it get to me and kind of let let it like cheapen the end of the trip so we woke up the day before and did a couple things for work um, out in Colombia and then we sort of had like the afternoon and evening off the plan was that we were going to go to 
a gondola ride like up the side of a mountain and look at like I think what they call is like air parks and it's just parks that are like really really high up and they're in the clouds so it seems like they're in the air or something like that so we were supposed to go and we were supposed to go and do this little trip to like see the city a little bit more and you know spend time with the disc golf community make friends everything but Paul was like kind of nervous about it and he doesn't get nervous very often so that made me like wicked nervous so what ended up happening was we went downtown with ken and his girlfriend and we went to this restaurant and had dinner together but in order to get there we took a train and then we walked and paul ended up getting a haircut which was really cool and while we were walking i was wanting to vlog so i could show you guys like the behind the scenes and paul kind of like pulled me aside and was like I wouldn't have your phone out filming because we're not from here and we don't speak the language and I don't know how safe it is to just be like phone out and like filming and drawing attention to yourself because um, it didn't seem very touristy at all. So I put that away and there was no footage. Um, I got a couple of things of footage uh, that I obviously included already, but yeah, it was stressful. Um, luckily we made it out. I would love to go back, um, but luckily we made it out in on our own terms <laughs> um but i'm um, thank you guys so much for watching i put a lot of effort into these videos and i hope that you like them i'm sorry that this columbia one wasn't as good as the other one i just didn't feel comfortable filming that much because we were so so busy and the conversations that i was having with the women there would have been really awesome to film but it's kind of awkward when you're like hey hold on a second let me pull out my camera and film us talking so yeah next time maybe i'll film more Hopefully I'll be able to make it back, practice my Spanish more. We'll see. But in the meantime, thanks for watching.